Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is a day in the life. Now, in the first day in the life, I told you about my car. I own a smart car, a white and black smart car. Now, I'm not a small person. I'm a little over 6'2", and I weigh more than I should. Um, but I fit in the car quite comfortably. But when I park the car and get out, people say, oh my gosh, how do you fit in there? So often I will have strangers sit in my car so they can see how comfortable it is and how when you're inside the smart car, you don't even know that you're in a small car. Unless of course you look out the back window and then you kind of see that the window is right here. Um, but if you're looking out the front ways, it looks like a normal car from the inside. Now, people are also amazed what I can pull out of that thing. Now, yes, I am a magician and I can do some interesting things, but uh, I have a 19 foot ladder that folds down to about five feet um, and I can put that in there with no problem. I can't have a passenger at the same time, but I can certainly put my ladder in there. I had a uh, five and a half foot palm tree in there, moving it from one place to another. And I also uh, put in a six foot guillotine in my smart car it fits without a problem um, some people call it a clown car but you know the car where you get a little tiny car in the circus and then all these clowns pour out of it um, my car however only seats two people so it would probably be the most boring clown car in the world you pull up and two clowns get out and that's that's all that fits in there as far as people but I digress let me go back to the other thing I said that you're saying. Did he really say that? Did he really say he has a six foot guillotine? Well, yes, I do. And to prove the point, take a look at this. I'm here really to do magic for you. I'm here because of an outrage. I watched one of the infomercials once and I got one of these. <laughs> oh yeah, I can chop vegetables like this. You wouldn't believe how many vegetables I can chop with this. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you an even better way. Oh sure, can you chop a carrot with this? Of course you can, if you cut the carrot up first. <laughs> Otherwise the carrot doesn't fit in here. What happens if you want to do something like this? <laughs> That's not good. No, it's not good at all, ladies and gentlemen. But today, I'm going to show you the best way to do it. I'm going to show you the actual kitchen magician. <laughs> Come on, little. Is it get? Oh, here it is. Yes. Wow. The kitchen magician. Yes, if you want to cut cabbage, you want to cut carrots, this will do it. Believe it or not, this cuts everything. Watch this, ready? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is really good. But not only does it cut cabbages and carrots and potatoes and all kinds of stuff, it's easy to clean. People say, okay, well, it may be easy to clean, but how do I know that what you're telling me today is the truth. Well, would I lie to you? <laughs> Not me. But you don't have to believe me. Christian, is that your father next to you? What's your first name, sir? Dan. Dan, are you trustworthy? Uh, depends. Come on up, Dan. I'm gonna big round of applause for Dan. Dan, look, look at this construction. Isn't this amazing? I mean, and the finish is so beautiful. I mean, come, come back, stand over here. Look at, the, look, at, look at this. It's phenomenal. Come stand right here. Stand right here on that little tape there. Don't, 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 don't worry about the blood. Um, now, see, it even comes apart for easy cleaning. Get that on your knees and look really close at this finish. No, oh, really, really, get that on your knees. It's really good. Now, take a look at that. You see, you can, you can pick this up and, and you, can, you can clean it. Look at the finish on the front of this thing. Let's come, put your head in here, look at the finish, how shiny it is. Yeah, go ahead, put your head in there. Really? Oh, come on. I had a lady do it last time. Good for her. Come on. Look, look down, look down on the floor there. You can, you can, 
Oh, sure it does, it fits in there. Now put your neck a little further down, right, right, right in there. That's, yeah, look at that, isn't that? Now we're gonna slowly close this up. Just, just slowly. There, now see, it has, it has locking mechanisms here, so nothing will go loose or anything like this. And now, there's a, there's a safety feature on here that I no. think I've engaged. Uh, I'm sure it always works. Now, on the count of three, I'm gonna show you the actual safety feature. Are you ready? One, two, three years ago I did this. <laughs> and the guy was thrilled. He, he was just lost. No, he didn't do that, no. <laughs> okay, Danny, you ready? No. You're not ready? No. Here, why don't you, do me a favor, put your hands here and here. That's much better. That way, if, if your head falls off, your hands are close enough to catch it. Okay. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, jeez. Okay, Dan, yeah, put your head out. That was good. That was good enough, Dan. Give him a round of applause, everyone. $74,000 at the back of the room. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. So you see, I do have a six-foot guillotine, and I got it to that magic show in my little smart car. So this is David Hale for Tech Dive TV. Have a great day.